Hi, I'm Martin Klang from Rebel Technology. I'm going to show you a module I made called Foreo. Foreo is a triple function trigger processor. So if I take a clock in, the first function here is pulse width modulation. I take the trigger output into a sound generator and I can then change the duration of the pulse. And it's always calculated as a percentage of the incoming clock. So it goes from 50% up to 100 and down to zero. This can also be a control voltage. So if I take an LFO here, plug it into the CV input, then I can adjust the amount of modulation. Now this is very useful for any envelopes or anything with the, with the sustain. And it can also modulate the sounds of uh, certain, certain drum triggers and whatnot. We can also send the trigger through, for example, a stoichia, which will then pass on the pulse width so that you can modulate it. through the stock here. So you can do sequencing and pulse width modulation. The next function is multiply and for this I'm going to change to a drum sound. And for multiply and repeat the inputs are normal to pulse width modulation. So if you put a clock into the top input it's also available for the other two functions. And the output here, multiply simply multiplies by a factor from 1 to 16. And I'm going to take the output from the pulse width modulation. So you trigger out Tom, so you can hear the difference. Between the regular clock and the multiplied one. We can also, of course, uh, control voltage mod modulate this. So if I take an LFO from here, it can sweep nicely between triplets and quarter knots up to sixteenth and just about any rate you can imagine. Repeats is the final function, and it combines the previous two to give you pulse width modulated, multiplied repetitions. So we've got a clock coming into the trigger input, and it goes back out again to a clock divider or sequencer. And for each incoming trigger here, that triggers the hat, we can get several triggers going out. So you repeat by a number of 1 to 16. And the trick here is that the rate of the repetitions is determined by the multiplier. So you've got a nice combination of repetitions and multiplications. And again, of course, we can use an LFO to modulate the number of repetitions, or if you like, the rate of repetitions. That's it from me for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.